Oh, you thought you had me, but you didn't. Okay, hear me out. Pink. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Today, I'm doing a little bit of a throwback challenge. So a while ago, sometime last year, I think, this challenge became popular called the Dollhouse Challenge. And it's basically where you make a build, put the walls down, and like crop it out in Photoshop, and it looks like a dollhouse. It's actually pretty sick. I think it always looks cool, and I really want to try it. I never got around to it when it was popular, but it's just kind of my brand to do things once things have just died out. <laughs> so to give you an example, I will show you. Green screen, activate! Ugh. So if you type in the Sims 4 dollhouse challenge on Google, you see an array of images here, where basically you can see it's just a room with the walls down, and they've just cropped it out. Like This is a really good example. Look how cool this looks. How cool is that? I'm really intrigued by these loft style ones. So like this is a good example. I think this is so cool. There's also this one, which is sick. And I really want to try to do a full house. I want a tiny kitchen, a tiny living room, and a bedroom on the top. That's my goal. Is that a little ambitious? I mean, yeah, it is. <laughs> but I mean, when am I not overly ambitious? And then I fail. So let's fail. <laughs> I don't have any sort of plan for this. I just kind of want to go in. I don't know if I should just like not have walls or put the walls down. So I, maybe, should I just do a square? Because then what we're gonna need, I'd like to put the stairs, ooh, maybe on this side. Ooh, I don't know what I want to do. Maybe I should make this like an actual square. And then we put like these stairs. Oh shoot, this is gonna be harder than I thought. Okay, if I move it back here, what I'm worried about is that it, it cuts off a lot of what I'm doing. Okay, let's just say for instance, I did this. I definitely have to delete these walls. Like there's actually Actually, no way. There we go. I was like, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I got it. I got it. So then I think I need to delete these walls as well. Oh, there we go. That's the look I'm going for. Is that too much? I kind of like how extra it is. We have that one as well, which is also kind of cool. Let me put down one of these things so it looks a little more seamless. Oh, there we go. That's cool. Ooh, look at me. I have been experimenting so much lately. I'm so proud of myself. It needs columns below it. I think that's what's throwing me off is that there's nothing to support it. It's just floating. It really is out here just trying to support itself, be independent, but I just, I just don't like the way it looks. <laughs> and that's a metaphor for society. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Like at the base of the stairs. Oh, I kind of like that. Okay, so here's my vision, right? I might need to make this slightly bigger because I think my vision is a little bit too ambitious. Okay, maybe that's a little bit better. I guess I should get some wallpaper as well. What do I want to do for wallpaper? It has to be something without baseboards because it needs to be like fluid because it needs to go upstairs as well. This is going to be tough. Everything has baseboards. <laughs> Every freaking thing. Unless I use like a wood paneling or something on the inside, like something like that. That might work, but not that color. Oh, so I just don't like the way it looks at all. Maybe a brick or something? I'm trying to think of something that looks fluid all the way up. Could do like a rustic look. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I kind of like the white against the black. I think it's very pretty. Okay, cool. So let's start with the loft. I want to put a bed up here, a pretty bed. I don't know which one yet. The nice thing about this is we can use any color because we basically are just having black and white. I mean, the options are honestly endless. We love options. We love that. I'm trying to think. That's kind of pretty. Very bright. <laughs> Maybe I should put a roof on this thing. <gasps> that might be a good idea. Definitely should have thought of that, but I didn't. Okay, because if I do that, there we go. And then I can put lights in here, right? The lights don't do nothing. What if I go to nighttime? Now the lights are doing stuff. All right, she needs some end tables. Those are kind of cute and funky. If I put lamps down, does that even do anything? How cute are these though, right? How cute are these? They do have blue ones, but honestly, I'm like, that's too predictable. Like the Sims would expect me to do that. So no, I'm doing something different. <laughs> Suck it. We'll put this painting above. What other colors do they have? Oh, what if I do this? Could do some like cute and cozy paintings. I like that. Let's get a rug. Oh, this one fits the loft area perfectly. Dude, it's perfect. Do I like any of the swatches? That's the best one. I gotta see if there's something better. I don't know. I'm just too picky. Okay, put that one downstairs. We might use it. There's also this one, which is literally the exact size of the upstairs. It looks kind of cool though. It looks like a carpet that like we don't have. Have, which kind of fun. Oh my God, that matches the bed. No. <laughs> Ooh, 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 that's cool. Okay, what else can I have up here? A dresser? Can I fit a dresser up here? Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so something I would have if I was in a loft. Oh my God, cute. Now I have to see, do I prefer that or do I prefer having like a dresser? I don't know, I feel like you can't really see what that is. Maybe like this one. I literally always choose this one. I am a creature of habit. Let the record show, at least I'm consistent, all right? Could do this one though, maybe. I hate that you can't really see it. I mean, I guess from this angle you can. 
can. What else can they have up there? Maybe like some activities? Like a chess table or something? I have an idea. I, oh. I don't know where I want to put it. So they have like those really long tables, like the really tall ones. They're fairly new. I really haven't used them much. These, oh, they're really cute. There's a couple different ones. So there's this glass one. There's this one from Realm of Magic. I feel like I want to use this one down here somewhere. So do you use bar stools? Oh yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Finally, another use for bar stools. That's a really cute idea. I love it. Oh, I'm so excited. It's like I got a new pack. <laughs> I'm all excited. I'm not sure if I should do this though or if I should do a desk. I think a desk like makes more sense. <laughs> then we can get a computer and there you go. It's kind of like a bedroom, <laughs> which is exactly what it's supposed to be. Ooh, let's put a big plant. We have a lot of room for that plant. Oh, that makes me excited. <laughs> Let's also put some stuff on top of the dresser because it's looking a little, a little naky. Don't look at it, it's naky. I guess I'm not gonna put a bathroom because um, I just didn't decide on that in the beginning. So I guess it's not gonna happen. It's a little too late now to make that decision. Some little makeup stuff and then we'll put um, some candles. Fun. All right, pretty cute so far. I think we need some art on these walls. I don't know, do I leave them blank? Are people leaving these things blank? I just cannot stand to have these walls be blank. I just can't do it. Just drives me insane. <laughs> Maybe I should leave it blank. It does look a little bit weird. Oh, unless I do that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you thought you had me, but you didn't. I kind of love it. Okay, so I'm gonna work on the kitchen next. So I wanna put a kitchen like in here somewhere and then like a little space to eat. So probably we would want this here. This I will probably move to right here for like a little living space. I actually like that rug, so I'm just gonna use it. This is gonna be a bit crammed, isn't it? Can I fit a refrigerator? I really don't think I can. Wait, where's the short one? Oh, oh if barely fits. Unless I just make the whole back wall a kitchen space and then have an island. Oh, I love that idea. We could really go all out and make the whole back wall a kitchen. However, <laughs> I'm not sure that's reasonable. So I will put this little eating area over here. Then I will put an oven right there. And then for a sink, I guess I'll use the island. So I'll bring this out to like here maybe. Oh wait, that's looking really cool. Okay, so maybe I'll put the sink in the island right there. <gasps> and then we can get some more bar stools. Oh wait, but I'm gonna have bar stools here. So maybe not. I really just want one of these. Like it doesn't even make a whole lot of sense because I have an island. <laughs> I don't know, but I just, I'm so dedicated to it now. I'm like attached. We can do like a hot pink or something, like a really just out of nowhere color. Maybe we should only have two seats. Or no, maybe three. I don't know, do I even like that? Do I even like that though? Or do I just do a normal table, like a little round one? Is this better? Is it more visible? That's what I'm wondering. That maybe works a little bit better. So maybe not these orange chairs, but they were good for a test run. So goodbye. See ya. What chairs do I use? Oh, these are my favorite. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, tiny living kind of slaps. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. Okay, let's do a little living space. So, do I face the couch towards us or away from us? I'm honestly thinking towards us. It doesn't make as much sense, but I feel like for a dollhouse challenge, it does make sense. I do feel like I should have bar stools though, now that I'm looking at it. Let's move this out a little bit. Oh wait, can I put cabinets? This may not work. I mean, they're there, but like you can't really see them. Okay, hear me out, pink. <laughs> I felt like it didn't have enough color, you know? Do I even want cabinets? I feel like they look a little bit weird. So anyways, back to the colorful cabinets. I was thinking it just needed something, you know? I don't know what, but it needs something. Maybe that's a bit better. That's like a light blue. It's really subtle, but I think it's nice. I do feel like it needs something above it, but like not cabinets. I don't know why the cabinets look so weird to me, but they do. So what if instead I put like kitchen things? Maybe? There's like a little menu. Do I put knives above this? Oh wait, what about the pots and pans? Oh, that's a cute idea. Maybe just a couple things. And then I put down like some decor. Oh, here we go. This looks better. Let's get like a fancy fruit bowl. Oh, wait, or should I get, oh, hold up. Forget the fruit. We need utensils. That does make more sense. It's true. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna get like, maybe like a flower or a plant or something and put it on this side and then call it a day with this. Cause I feel like I'm done. There you go, a plant, voila. You know what? No, I, I changed my mind, two plants. Voila. All right, moving back on to the living space. I do kind of like it facing us, but I'm wondering if it should be like a diagonal thing. I forgot to ask, did they make a love seat for this? What's it from? Island living. Okay, let's find out everyone. There is a love seat. I guess, 
I guess it does kind of match. To my surprise, it does kind of match. Now, as far as like a TV and stuff goes, I don't know if I'm gonna put one down because I mean, we'd see the back of it. <laughs> Maybe we just leave it open. We put a nice table. One of the oh shoot, never mind. That thing's real big. <laughs> Fire pit inside. I love this table. Roast me all you want. I know I use it every single day. I love it. Okay, we got some flowers. Now I need an end table. Hey, look, this one kind of matches. I think. Well, sorta. <laughs> Maybe we get some candles. Oh, either those or these. I love these too. Those are pretty fancy. Now I want to put something next to the couch, but I'm wondering if this is like too much. <laughs> it might be a bit too tall. I feel like it's blocking what's behind it. Then if it's too small, I feel like it looks really weird. Like this is my favorite plant, right? But then it covers like half the kitchen. Oh, I have an idea. I know there's an item, magazine and remotes holder. I knew you'd come in handy one day. Perfect, <laughs> it actually looks good. The only other thing is I wanted to put like a little flower on top of this table as well like a little a little baby just a little baby it's so cute and small looking for a flower okay am i done yay okay so now my sim is a thousand percent gonna die without a doubt he's dead like oh wait did I just save his life? Oh my God, am I a hero? Eliza, you, you have got to stop interrupting. <laughs> okay, so now we take a picture. I just gotta find the right angle there maybe. Oh, that looks like a good shot. You can't see anything I did on the bottom, whatever. But let's, let's see. Let's bring it into Photoshop and let's see what we can do. Okay, here's our photo. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. We're just gonna do a little bit of cropping here. Should just be a square, fairly easy. Let's take that out and boom, we got ourselves a dollhouse. Look at that. Okay, Okay, let's let's give it a really cute background. <gasps> this is cool. Oh, I'm so excited. I have a bunch of really cool backgrounds saved on my computer for some reason. And I mean, this all just looks really cool. <laughs> Could find a nice color, maybe a blue, a purple perhaps. I think it came out really good. Welcome to making thumbnails with Vixella. <laughs> I actually feel like it looks best on just like a white background if I'm being honest. Honestly, to be honest, I feel like that looks the best. There we go. I feel like it looks really cool. It seems like a simple challenge. You just like cut it out and it looks like a dollhouse, but like, I just think it looks looks kind of awesome. I don't know. I'm really happy with it. Well, I thought this was a lot of fun. I feel like I'm bringing back a challenge like from the past. Glad I did it. It was harder than I thought, but I had a lot of fun. If you guys take on this challenge as well, make sure to tweet me pictures of how it came out. I would love to see it. I think these just look so cute and small. <laughs> I love them. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. To become part of the early squad, click that notification bell and make sure all notifications are on so you never miss any of my videos. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.